So hi, my name is Alexander Spiegelman. Today I will present ACE, <laughs> Abstract Consensus Encapsulation for Liveness Boosting of State Machine Replication. <laughs> this is a joint work with Ali Greenberg and Dalia Malki. <laughs> okay, so what is a state machine replication? We simply have, we have a state and we simply want to replicate it reliably on, on many servers. And in order to do it, we usually, we usually um, use, use consensus as, as a building block. <laughs> so each server maintains its local log. And in order to update to, to, to the next state, servers propose the next state and they, consent, and they propose it to the consensus. <laughs> and the consensus, uh, they, using their consensus, they agree on the unique state. And then they simply add it to their log. OK. So, um, but unfortunately, deterministic asynchronous consensus is, is impossible like the, um, due to the famous uh, FLP result. So the question is therefore, what is the practical approach? Right? And uh, the answer is that practically most, if not all deployed system <laughs> forgo, as forgo asynchrony and, and instead assume eventual synchrony. Which, which assumes that there is a known global stabilization time after which the communication is synchronous. <laughs> and under this model, um, the, 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 the protocol usually operate in a view by view manner, where, <laughs> where each view is divided into two phases. In the first phase, there is a designated leader that try to, to drive progress. <laughs> Other parties participate, but start a timer. And, and <coughs> And then if the timer expires, the part is due to the, to the view change phase in which they exchange some information in order to safely wedge the current view and proceed to the next. Okay, but uh, unfortunately timeouts are vulnerable and, uh, due to several reasons. So first, if our timeouts are too aggressive, if, we try to, if, if they are too close to the real network del delay, so even small fluctuation in the delays might demote good leaders. And we might time, time, we might time out leaders even though they are good just because they are slightly slower than our timeouts. <laughs> now, on the other end, if we try to set a conservative timeouts, then it can cause serious delays in case the reader is actually faulty, because we will need to to wait until uh, all the timeout until we will be able to to switch to to the next view. Okay, also the timeouts opens, uh, are open to DDoS attacks and the attacker does not need to control the entire network. It's enough for him to be able to delay, adaptively delay the current leader in order to avoid progress. Okay. <laughs> but um, luckily timeouts are not inherent. And what we can, the other thing we can do to, to uh, circumvent the impossibility result is, is, for, is, is to use randomization. Okay, and uh, in, in randomized, protocol, randomized consensus protocol, um, we usually require deterministic safety and termination with probability one. Okay, so this, bring, this brings me to our goal in this paper, which is, which is to design a framework, where, which is to des design ACE, a model agnostic framework for asynchronous boosting. <laughs> but um, it, the, our framework ACE can take any, well, any eventually synchronous little based consensus, view by view consensus algorithm, and automatically turn it into a randomized fully asynchronous one. <laughs> And by model agnostic, we mean that the ACE, the framework does not really care about, uh, about, the, about the model assumptions uh, in, the, in these algorithms. It abstracts them away. For example, it can be instant, instantiated with a, crash, with, a crash, with a crash failures algorithm like Paxos or with a Byzantine failure algorithm like PBFT or hot stuff. Okay, <laughs> so in the first step, we take we take a single we take a single view of the of a view view by view protocol and decouple it. <laughs> so a single view, as I said before, consists of two phases. The first is the little based phase in which the leader tries to drive progress, <laughs> and the second one is the view change phase. And 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 the and the existing algorithms they use timeouts in order to move from the first phase to the second phase. What we do with the couple with the couple the two phases and get rid of the timer and get rid of the timer. We do it by defining LBV stands for little based view abstraction, which, which, <coughs> which expose an external API to engage 
to start to start to start the view and at the end to to, view, to wedge an exchange okay now in order now in order to define the properties of engage and wedge and exchange i need to first define what's the proper execution of these lbvs because the properties uh, they, they will be defined over a proper execution <laughs> okay so each lbv is parameterized within the identification and its designated leader Okay, in this example, the first one, we have two LBVs, the first and the second, and the, the first one, the leader of the first one is P1 and the second is P2. <laughs> okay, so first, a party in work engage with some initial state S0 to the LBV. Now, the, the state itself is, a <coughs> the, 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 self, the state itself can vary from protocol to protocol, really, 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 and it's really, um, and it's really uh, internal, internal to the protocol that we use in order to instance LBV. <laughs> now the engage operation might return or might not a value. And at some later point, we invoke wedge and exchange. Now this, the wedge and exchange returns two things. Uh, and it returns a state, the new state, and also it might return a value. Now we take this state, which, which uh, we take this state and we use it in the in the engage invocation of the next LBV, which in turn also might return a value or not, and and so on and so on. This is how a proper execution on LBV works. Okay, now now for the for the for the properties. <laughs> so the properties are defined over a proper execution. <laughs> And with, uh, first, so let's start with the liveness properties. So for every LBV instance, <laughs> if the leader is correct and no, no correct party invoke wedge and exchange, then all the, the, the correct invocation of engage eventually return. This is the first property. And the second that if all correct parties invoke wedge and exchange, then all, in, all invocation eventually return. Okay. <laughs> Now, for safety, we require a agreement which says that all LBVs return the same values. They might return bottom, but if they return a value other than bottom, it has to be the same. Okay, in a proper in a, in a proper in a proper execution. Okay, in a properly composed execution of LBVs. <laughs> now, another property that we require is the completeness for every LBV instance. If f plus one correct uh, engage invocation return the no wage and exchange return null. Okay. Now, <laughs> if you think about it, this, this, these properties are already implicitly satisfied by existing view-by-view -view protocols. <laughs> so, so in order to use our framework, all we need to do is to take a single view of the view-by-view -view protocol and wrap it uh, with, the, with the LBV API. Okay. Now, once we, once we have an LBV uh, abstraction, we can actually use it in order to reconstruct the, the, the protocol that it's in, 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 initiated with. <laughs> so all we need to do is to invoke engage and the timer. And when the timer expires, we invoke wedge and exchange and move to the next view. <laughs> okay. So, so now for the, for the framework algorithm, for the liveness boosting. <laughs> So before I describe it, I just want to describe another two, another two uh, auxiliary abstractions. So first is a little, little election, which is very simple. You invoke an elect operation, at some point it will return the leader. <laughs> now the properties are the following. Termination, if F plus one, um, <coughs> if F plus one collect parties invoke ele elect, then all return. Uh, agreement, all, uh, all, the collect, all the collect parties return the same leader. Um, validity, leaders are chosen uniformly at random, and unpredictability, leader is unknown until one correct elect, uh, invoke elect. <laughs> so this leader election uh, abstraction can be easily implemented with special signatures, for example, but there are also other ways. <laughs> okay, and, this, and the second abstraction is the barrier, um, which party, uh, parties enter the barrier and at some point they exit. <laughs> And the properties are the following, coordination, no correct party exit the barrier until at, at least F plus one correct parties enter it. Termination requires that if two F plus one correct parties enter the barrier, then all eventually exit. And agreement, if one correct exit, all exit. 
So this, in, in a way, it, rem it uh, resembles the, 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 the reliable broadcast properties, and, and actually it can be implemented in a similar way, or, or it can be implemented also with special signatures. Uh, it's, uh, I will not go into these details in this presentation, but it's really not a big deal. You can look in the paper. <laughs> okay, so now, now, okay, so now we are ready to move into the framework algorithm. <laughs> So instead of operating in a view by view manner, we, we operate in a wave, wave by wave manner. <laughs> and each wave is, uh, <coughs> and in each wave we do the following. So first, instead of running a single LBV in the view, we run n concurrent LBVs, each with a different leader. Okay, so every party actually invoke engage operation in every LBV, in each LB, in every LBV, and every LBV has a different leader. Now, whenever some engage invocation return, um, the party sends an engage done message to the leader of this LBV. <laughs> and whenever, when, whenever the, the leader collects two F plus one engage done messages, it enters, it enters the barrier. Okay, now when, when, when eventually it exits the barrier, when enough leaders enter the barrier to eventually exit, it, 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 uh, <coughs> the, the leader collect elect, and when the waves leader is elected, in this case it is process PI, then we go the, when they go and invoke wedge and exchange in the LBV of the waves elected leader, <laughs> and we forgot and we forget about all the other LBV instances. We don't we don't care about them anymore. Okay, now if if it happens that the wedge and exchange returns a value that is not a bottom, then we can decide on it. In, in any way, we can take, we, we can take the state that the, that the region exchange returns and use it um, as a parameter to the engage, engage invocation in the next wave, in the next LBVs. Okay, so this, this, is, this is as simple as that. This is the entire protocol. Okay, now let's discuss, uh, let's, uh, let's, let, let me give you some safety intuition. So <laughs> here is our protocol uh, operated in the wave by wave manner. Now, if we forget about the leader election abstraction, the barrier abstraction, and all the LBVs that were not elected, just, just forget about them, that really what we're, what we're left with is a proper execution of LBVs. <laughs> and so the safety of, of, the safety of, our, our, of our protocol really comes from the safety of the original protocol we use in order to instant, in, 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 instantiate the LBV abstraction. <laughs> okay, so, so we, we get safety for free. Okay, so as, as for termination, we get termination with probability one. And here is the intuition. So, <laughs> so a correct leader enters the barrier only after F plus one correct engage invocation in its LBV returns. Okay, now <laughs> a correct party exit barrier and, elect, and invoke elect only after F correct leaders enter the barrier. <laughs> so we get that the waves leaders become known only after F plus one correct leaders enter the barrier. And, and, we, and if we are lucky with probability one over three, the waves leader is one of them. Okay, so, so if you remember, if, if the, if the, if F plus one correct leaders, if F plus, if F plus one correct parties um, return, return, return a value in, in their, uh, from their engage invocation, then by the completeness property, the wedge, the, wedge, the wedge and exchange operation will also return a value. So with probability one over three, wedge and exchange, the wedge and exchange invocation will return a value other than but for all correct, for all correct parties and thus, all correct parties decide in this, in this wave. <laughs> so in expectation, all correct decide after three waves. We can, we can actually, we can have some tweaks to reduce it to three over two waves, but I will not go into these details. You can look in the paper if you want. Okay, now we evaluated the, our, 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 our framework. We, implement, we implemented it in C++ and initiated it with the, with the, with the hot stuff protocol and compare the ACE hot stuff with the base hot stuff under best case, worst case, and uh, scenarios, and also under attacks. 
So here, here I will demonstrate some of the results that we have. You can see some more in the paper. So first, of course, because we use NLBV uh, instances concurrently in each wave, ACE has some overhead. In the case, uh, in, in the good case, in the best case, where, where the network is perfect with no delays. So uh, this, this is what we can see in these graphs. But, but if we start to introduce delays, then, then hot stuff is vulnerable. For example, in this experience, we, we have a fractionating the delay. And if the timeouts are too aggressive, in this, exper in this experience, the timeouts were set to, uh, the, the, <coughs> the, you can see that if the, if the delay is five, five milliseconds, that hot stuff is great, better than ACE. But if we increase the delay to 10 milliseconds, then because of the timeouts are so aggressive, leaders are not able to commit anything. And the hot stuff uh, throughput is actually goes to zero where the ACE continues to operate in, uh, in, uh, in network speed. Okay, on the other hand, if we set the timeout, if, if our timeouts are too conservative, then, what, then Byzantine parties or, uh, can, can exploit it in order, to, in order to, to make parties to wait the entire timeout until the view change. So this is what we see, this is what we see in this graph. In the first 25 seconds, nothing, everything is good. But in the next, uh, to, to, but in the last 25 seconds, uh, in this graph, um, Byzantine parties are simply quiet in the whenever they are leaders, and we can and we can see that the the throughput of uh, hot stuff drops significantly. Now, some of the protocols are try to uh, adjust to the real network delay. And so we implemented one, one option, one naive option of it. And whenever we have a successful wave, we decrease the timeout. And wherever we have, a, uh, sorry, whenever we have a successful view in hot stuff, we decrease the timeout. And whenever we have a, an unsuccessful view, we, we, uh, we increase the timeout. And, <coughs> and, then, and then this graph shows the result. Well, in the in the second half of the of the of the experience of the experiment, we um, we did we did the following. We we did the DDoS attack on the correct leaders, okay, in order to force the timeout, in order to force the system to increase the timeout, and then the Byzantine parties performed the silent attack in which they kept silent as long as possible uh, without being detected. And you can see that the you can see here that the hot stuff. Uh, the base hot stuff throughput is uh, really is really dropping, whereas the whereas the ACE hot stuff throughput um, still uh, operates in a network speed. The ACE hot stuff operates in network speed. Okay, so this brings me to uh, to the discussion. So what we did in this paper, we implemented the LBV abstraction, which allow us to get rid of the timers by um, by uh, exposing an external API to control uh, the way to control the way in which we switch between the little base phase to the view, view change phase, with this abstraction we introduce hey, ACE and uh, a liveness uh, and and boosted and which can boost liveness of little base view by view algorithms. <laughs> now, as I said before, ACE is model agnostic. It doesn't add any assumptions to the assumptions made in the little based view by view, original little based view by view algorithm. And um, so if we take Paxos, we get asynchronous uh, protocol that work in the crash failure model. And if we use uh, hot stuff or PBFT uh, or the Ziva, we get um, a protocol that is resilient against Byzantine, for, uh, Byzantine faults. Okay, also because of the randomness, because of the way we choose, because of the way we choose the waves leader, we get some sort of fairness. And the, and the last point is modularity. If we, in, in, with ACE, if you have a system with ACE and one day you want to switch the, the, the algorithm, the consensus algorithm, then all you need to do is just to, to, to change the implementation of the LBV abstraction and everything else stays the same. <laughs> Okay, so so with ACE we actually can enjoy both worlds. We can we can gain from the we can we can enjoy the experience gain in decades of algorithm design and system engineering in the eventually synchronous model, and at the same time we can enjoy a robust asynchronous solution that is live under attack. Okay, so 
this concludes my talk. Thank you very much for uh, watching the YouTube video. Bye. <laughs>